In the last part, I showed the first electric filter for a wood-powered car in the USSR by Comrade I, Tidov designed for charcoal-powered ZIS-31. Amazingly, the engineers then managed to make a filter that cleaned as much as 60 cubic meters of gas per hour, while consuming only 20 to 25 watts. Comrade Tidov did not stop, and on May 25, 1940, filed another patent for the electrostatic filter. He installed a number of strings twisted into springs instead of one string in the tube as it is usually done, marked with the number one in the picture. The system of corona electrodes consists of a number of wire spirals, 1, concentrically attached around the insulator tube, 3, the top lid, 2, rigidly fixed in the center of the filter. The corona spiral has a certain step and diameter chosen experimentally for the given filter design. Such a design of the corona wires significantly improves coronying. Besides, when driving, the dust deposited on the corona wires falls down due to shaking and vibration. The wires are stretched between the upper and lower flanges, 4, and are attached to the diaphragm ring, 5, approximately at their middle. The diaphragm ring is loosely attached to the tube, 3. It transmits vibration to the corona spirals, 1, during shocks and impacts which improves dust shaking off the wires. The dotted line in the drawing shows the path of gas passing through the electrostatic filter. The explanation makes it clear to me that this filter was also intended for the dry gas of a charcoal gasifier. Seven months later, on December 14, 1940, Tidoff filed another patent for the electrostatic filter. Smooth precipitation electrodes in automobile filters retain dry dust contained in the generator gas poorly because much of the dust is a good conductor. So, when it comes in contact with the precipitation electrode, the charged dust immediately gives off its charge and, not retained by electrical forces, is carried away by the gas until obtains a new charge. The mesh electrodes successfully capture the dust, but due to the gap between the filter housing and the precipitation electrode, part of the dust passes through this gap bypassing the filter electric field, i.e. the cleaning zone. Thus, part of the gas in most designs of electrostatic precipitators with mesh electrodes is not cleaned or is cleaned insufficiently. According to the author, the proposed design of the precipitation electrode is free from the above drawbacks. The proposed electrostatic filter belongs to the type of filter with horizontal gas flow. It is designed as a drum with axial rod electrodes and dust collectors in the lower drum part. The essence of the invention is that the precipitation electrodes are located along the inner edges of the sickle-shaped plates, facing upward, rigidly bolted together, and forming dust-collecting compartments in the gaps between them. The system of rod precipitation electrodes, 3, is mounted on the inner edges of sickle-shaped plates, 10, with the relevant holes, 12. The plates, 1, are mounted on anchor bolts, 7, pass through holes, 13, on spacer sleeves, 2. A circular notch, 14, eccentrically positioned in the plate, 1, is cut on the outer disc circumference. The plates, 1, which are bound together, form a rigid precipitation electrode, inserted into the horizontally positioned housing, 8, of the vehicle electrostatic precipitator. Dust deposition compartments are formed between the plates, 1. Since each compartment is closed on three sides, the dust entering the compartment cannot be blown away and the gas entering the filter cannot bypass the electric field. The corona electrode wire, 4, runs inside the notches, 14, in the plates, 1. The upper notch of the plate, 1, allows pulling the precipitation electrode out of the filter housing, 8, without touching the corona electrode, 4, with the insulators, 5 and 6. The precipitation system surface is formed by the inner edges of the plates, 1, and the steel rods, 3, located around the perimeter of the notches, 14, in the plates, 1. The precipitation system is designed to capture the mix of conductive and non-conductive dust. Its operation is peculiar because it has all the advantages of the mesh collecting electrode while avoiding its disadvantages. The precipitation system is formed by sequentially arranged precipitated dust hoppers filled with dust one after another. Besides, the precipitation system plates transfer the heat received from the gas passing to the housing walls. I.e. the electric filter is simultaneously a gas cooler, similar to the existing coarse cleaners coolers. The temperature drop in the electric filter with such an electrode system is several times greater than with a conventional mesh electrode, experience shows that the drop reaches 100 degrees Celsius. Such an electrode system allows to place the electric filter horizontally which facilitates its placement on a vehicle. 
Stopping the electric filter from accumulated dust, the precipitation system should be pulled by the handle. 9. Out of the filter housing. 8. The dust will fall out of the compartments. The gas enters the filter through nozzle. 10. And leaves the filter through nozzle. 11. This was Tidov's attempt to improve his first electrostatic filter. Soon World War II began, and one have not seen any more of Tidov's work in open literature or patents. I believe that he died. In the next part, we will analyze another patent filed for an electrostatic filter by another author before World War II.